I watched a video today and I respect this guy but they really got some answers here that really made me stop and think. It's called Losing the Republic. Now, I'm going to just move this just a little bit this way for a reason. I want to read some of these. We've been watching the slow death of a republic for four decades. Some are just now noticing. Some have already seen it. Seen it. Some are seeing it. Some are beginning to see it. Then there's a majority of the population whom have not even looked. Troubling times for sure. Died a long time ago, in my opinion. Died in 1871. Now, what bugs me about the answers? One thing. Guys, you're acting like, <laughs> you're acting like there hasn't, you hasn't, there hasn't been a war, but you're already given up. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. You talk about brainwashing, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I can, st I can see where, you know, somebody's a little bit, you know, afraid of something, okay? But this, this I mean, we, ha we haven't even begun to fight, and people are saying... Oh, look, we already lost. Duh. Losing the Republic. Okay, guys. Let's look at it a different way. What has gotten you all brought up to the point that you think that, you know, we can't do anything? Well, part of it is all the brainwashing that we've got along the way from... The time we were born until we became adults is stay out of trouble, don't cause any problems, be a good little boy so you don't go to jail. That's the whole thing. It's called behavior science. And that's what your lawmakers are trying to do is uh, modify your behavior so that they can do what they want. Now what kind of, you know, as, as American patriots, what, what do we have in our arsenal? We got firearms, ammunition, things like that. What do your lawmakers have in their arsenal? Well, they got a lot of words. They've got the, the, the majority of the press behind them to push their agenda, we don't have that. It's kind of like going into a fight and the one side has um, air cover and you don't. They have air support, you don't. You see where I'm coming from? We've got to start fighting this thing a little bit different. First off, you got to start educating yourself. And, and if you have to, break their so-called laws that are holding you back. It's called civil disobedience. Yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow. Nobody wants to go to jail. Nobody wants to cause an uprising. But we're being forced into a fight that we didn't want. But it has to be this way, apparently. Because they're not going to listen. And well, you can't wait two, three, four, five, six years for the Supreme Court to come to their damn uh, senses and put the Second Amendment to rest the way it's supposed to be. Now, my main concern with any kind of laws or, or the Supreme Court or anything like that is liberals. They got to think of it as a certain way because you stuck the wrong fucking people in there to begin with. You get people in there that's never even, the only, the only kind of cons constitution they learned about was they read what other judges said about it. They didn't study the constitution. They have no grasp of what the constitution means. They didn't do any background work on it. All they wanted was some kind of diplomacy so they could walk out into the world and say, hey, look at this, I'm important now. Excuse my language earlier, but... Uh, this is really getting to me. 
like those red flag laws. All this stuff, I'm sorry people, wake up and smell the roses. Number one, you can't take away due process because there hasn't been no invasion of this country or, or a rebellion in this country that they can take away your due process. It's called the writ of habeas corpus. There's been nothing going on that, that would suspend that. So don't go worrying so much about the damn red flags. It's one of those things that's here today, gone tomorrow. It won't go anywhere. Now, as far as uh, Schumer, Pelosi, Feinstein, and, and their farm laws, they are constitutionally barred from infringing upon your rights. If you went, into, if you guys went into a courtroom, you'll find out. If you look, look at look at the Constitution, when nothing was written, your representatives and stuff. They put this thing together. They all signed it, which made it an ironclad contract. And the judges has to, has to uh, render any kind of judgment in your favor because you are the designated beneficiary of that ironclad contract. If you don't have a constitution, and I know damn well most of you have a computer, call it up. Read it. Look at it every day. And then eventually, after you look at it long enough, you'll be able to see that they don't have the constitutional authority to pass any firearm bills. They are constitutionally barred from infringing upon any of your rights. Your rights are in the Second Amendment. You ever look at them? Or in the, the, the first ten amendments. If you look at them, it tells the Congress what they can't touch. They cannot mess around with your rights, any of them. That's why it's called the supreme law of the land. Don't give up the fight yet, guys, because you haven't been in it. But like I said, if it, if it gets down to the point that you feel that you're up against the wall, forget about those laws. There's a thing called civil disobedience. Don't worry about the law. They're not worried about it. They feel protected up there. They think that they are above the law. You need to show them that they're not. Don't go giving up before the battle's even fought. You know, I, I hate to see the, the look upon people and, and the way that they talk, like we've already lost the war and we haven't even fought. We haven't even put our boots on yet, guys. Okay, well, that's kind of Fuzzy's rant for tonight. I just had this on my mind, and I go, I, I got to say something. Uh, guys, the best way I can tell you is what some lady said a long, long time ago, and bless her heart. She said, it's time to pull up your big girl panties. Thanks, guys, for watching.